by far the best game of NFL Week 6 and possibly the regular season. A little bit of a playoff preview. We have the Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs, two Super Bowl contenders. And you can see the Chiefs are slight underdogs. So they are best offered, best odds at plus 135. So the best odds are always highlighted in green on Odds Jam. And again, for any game you want to bet on, you know, it's completely free to browse odds with Odds Jam, right? NBA, NFL, whatever you want to bet on. And really, your goal as a sharp better, if you want to make money, is you need to be looking for value, right? So if you want to be betting on the Chiefs, you should be taking them plus 135 on points bet. If you're taking the Chiefs plus 115 on Fox bet, when there's another bookmaker in your location giving you plus 135, you're getting ripped off, right? You're getting 20 cents worse. For every $100 you bet, you're only winning 115, not 135 in profit. So, you know, making money sports betting is all about finding bets with an edge. If you're trying to get rich quick, you might as well go to 7-Eleven and, you know, play the scratch-off lottery. That's not what Odds Jam is about. Odds Jam is about helping you use all this market data, you know, all these different sports books, setting lines independently to find value, right, to find sharp plays. So the best line you can get on the bills, on the other hand, is going to be minus 135 on the Betfair exchange. So if you're new to the Odds Jam YouTube, we try to keep this YouTube educational, is what's cool about the Betfair exchange is it's not a sports book, right? It's not peer-to-peer -peer betting. You're betting against another person. It's, or it is peer-to-peer -peer betting. I apologize. You're not betting against the house. When you place a bet on Barstool, it's your money versus Barstool. When you're betting on an exchange, it's your money versus another person's money. So oftentimes for very popular games, very active games, there's very low market width. It's a very active, efficient betting market where you know hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, are trading every single hour for the Bills Chiefs game as an example. Very popular, very liquid, efficient betting market. So in terms of the spread, it's at three, two and a half, two, depending on the sports book. And the total, not shocking, is pretty high at 53 and a half or 54. So again, we talk about this as well. It's like when you're a sports better, you need to be looking for value. I mean, you really do. So you can see the Chiefs here are plus three, minus 107 on points bet. And you can see on most sports books or a lot of other sports books, they're plus two and a half at minus 110. So this bet is horrible on sports interaction. Chiefs plus two and a half, minus 110. You can get better odds and half a point better around a key number on points bet at minus 107, right? So this is a ridiculous value play actually. And this is the bet I ended up locking in. The Chiefs plus three for $250 on points bet minus 107 odds. Right, so as a sharp better, again, we're always looking for value, and you can see this bet showed up on the positive EV tool right here with a 1.33% profit margin. So when you're betting at minus 107 juice, and again, like why does three versus two and a half matter? Well, again, you know, three is such a key number in football. If the Bills win by a field goal, our bet is gonna push. We're gonna get refunded on our point spread wager on points bet. Anybody who had the Chiefs plus two and a half, they're losing, right? If you took the Chiefs plus two and a half at minus 110 on Sports Interaction, you lose. I push and I got better odds, right? So it's all about finding these spots with value. Like we talk about this a lot, but when you're betting at minus 107 odds, I love this calculator. It's called a betting odds converter calculator on Odds Jam, is it will tell you how often you need to win a bet at a particular price to break even. So when you're betting at minus 107 odds, like our bet on points bet, Chiefs plus three minus 107, you only have to win 51.7% of your wagers to break even against the sports book. 51.7. So a very small amount, right? The sports book's edge over you, points bet's edge over you is only 1.69%. So most people, you know, most recreational bettors, they can't even beat the sports book over 51% of the time, right? This is how, you know, a company worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars makes all its money is that 1.69%. That's the vig, that's the juice. 
for both the over, the under, both sides of the spread, they charge you 1.69%. That's their advantage on you. So as a sharp better, if we're winning 55% of the time, we're super profitable. So I'm not looking to win every bet. I'm looking for value in the odds, finding these plays like Chiefs plus three, minus 107, where there's clear value, right? Bet Online, a very sharp offshore sports book, has this minus 120. Betfair Exchange, minus 115 with only five cents in market width. So that's an arbitrage bet, right? Then you also have DraftKings having this minus 125. So just using all the data in the market to clearly tease out that Chiefs plus three at minus 107 is great value. You know, DraftKings, again, has it minus 125. Betfair Exchange, only five cents in width. It's an arbitrage bet. You know, we're getting eight cents of improvement. We're getting 13 cents of improvement from Bet Online, And then Pinnacle, only 13 cents in width. And we're getting, you know, 12 cents of improvement. So very clear value in the odds and a bet. I'm very happy to lock in. So again, that's my goal as a sharp better. And maybe we hit it again and we see if they give us even more money. Let's try to bet another, you know, whatever, 1,500 on it. Let's see if they take it. Chiefs plus three minus 107. So it's going to say we're reviewing your bet. You think they're going to take it? I don't know. We'll see. And we'll lock this bet in and then I'll add it to my sheet. So again, you know, the whole goal of this YouTube is just to show you really the power of mathematical sports betting, right? There's no BS. It's just logical, right? Which is why I love it so much. Uh, positive EV betting. It's just logical, right? When every sports book is telling you, hey, a bet should be priced at minus 130, it should be heavily juiced, and you're getting it minus 107. You know, Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, they're pricing it at minus 119, DraftKings minus 125. It's like every data point in the market is telling us, yo, you should be betting on the Chiefs plus three minus 107. So again, they only gave me a max wager of 267.49 more. So we have 250 plus 267.49. So my total stake is 517.49 on the Chiefs. And this bet has a total profit margin of 688, right? So, you know, if you try to give me a $5 bill plus $1.75, I'm not going to give you my bet because my bet beats the VIG. It's mathematically profitable, and I know it's going to make money in the long run. This bet may lose, but I know this bet is hitting over the 51.7% of the time we need to break even. So it's a positive EV bet. Anyways, let's make some freaking money.